Hello and welcome back to Inferno Lava Flat World Survival. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I want to start with an apology. Um, you can probably tell by my voice that I'm not actually very well right now. Um, that's not really a nice thing that happened, but it is what it is. So, yes, I have been rather unwell. Uh, that's why the video is a little bit delayed on what I planned on doing with it. But in between videos, I have had time to do some work and get a lot of stuff done. Now, yes, you can see all plenty of trees grown, including a couple of really derpy ones, which in this situation is actually rather good. And my mob farm is trucking away. Although I do have a small problem with this, is in it's not quite efficient enough for what I want. Um, you'll notice I did change out the design again because spiders are still getting stuck in the 2x2 two two holes. In fact, they still get stuck now. But that's fine because this is working better than it was, which is what we want. Um, mainly for this, the gravel. Now, the reason we want the gravel is because gravel we can make more dirt. Um, and down here I have been rather busy with said dirt. I have put in a little area that is for animal spawning and I made it sure there's plenty of space between the lava and it so we don't get the animals on fire, don't get the fences on fire and of course I can just remove them from living and put the good stuff over here. Now one problem I am having though, obviously, no I don't put that in there. I'll put that and that in there. Now in here obviously you can see I have armor because I've been doing a little bit of experimentation with the mob farm as well, trying to figure out a way of making it more efficient. And at the moment, in its current state, is the most efficient way of me using it. Well, I want to change that. I don't like it like this. I want it to work better. But I also need to upgrade my food situation. As you can tell, I'm eating rotten flesh. Not the best food source in the world, but it's a food source. But first things first, we're going to improve on mob farm. Now, what I did between episodes, as part of my experimentation, was I put this little 2x2 two two drop shoe area line up here, and I put a border around the current mob farm, so I could put water in. Now, my reason for putting water in is because you want to flush the mobs down to this hole. The problem with this is they drop into the water, then they drop into the two blocks. They haven't taken any damage. This is not good. This is not what we want. We want them to take lots and lots and lots of damage before they come to me. So they're only a one-hit kill. This is also why the sword is iron and virtually dead. So what I want to do is extend this platform, the, the, kill, the, the spawning platforms, back. Let me relock in here quickly. Yes, I'll extend the platform back by probably two more sets, which means you extend the roof back by, I think it's seven more blocks. Yes, yeah, seven sounds right. So we extend the back, seven more blocks back, the platform goes seven blocks back, and then this platform and the one below it needs to go seven blocks further back as well, which means that what I've done downstairs so far is kind of a waste of time, but what's going to happen is we're going to have a much bigger off farm. Actually, I'm saying that. What I could do is leave these platforms in place and just bring the walls all down around it. And then at y tw the, the 21 block level, this is 24 blocks, at the 21 block level, we can just put in a platform with a drop chute that comes down here. That's probably a much better way of doing it because then I can still have them in the drop chute. They can still do a 24 British block drop to me. Some of them that might survive will be a one-hit kill. And that will make my life a lot easier. So yeah, let's do that. That's a really good idea. So let me go get my stuff and things together. Now, obviously between episodes, being unwell, I did a lot of grinding. So I've got lots of cobblestone. I also have lots of wood. So we're going to use some more of our materials and we're going to get ourselves on mob farm expanded. We're also in this episode, the other plan is not to make a chicken farm. It's just my, that one is just my egg supply, which I now have two egg, two stacks of eggs plus three. But yes, the other plan is we are going to be making ourselves some crop fields so I can actually grow some carrots and potatoes and some wheat. Because I've got a few wheat seeds as well because I decided to bone mill this grass over here to try and get some seeds and some flowers. And we did succeed in both. We've got a couple of grey flowers, we've got some blue flowers. So it's all good. But yes, I'll cut back in when I have a bit of progress to show you on this mob farm.
all righty a little bit of time has now passed and i haven't done anything else with the roof up the top but i have built the tray this can be our catchment tray and basically we're going to put water all the way around the outside and it's going to push all our mobs into the central to wide column um downsides of this i've now run out of cobblestone virtually again i've got a stack and 60 left um i'm nowhere near finished um i've decided i'm not actually going to build this thing all the way up i think that's a really bad idea and it's just causing cool issues if i do so what i'm going to do i'm not going to build these out any longer this way so no more rows but the rows are going to get built out to the end of the farm and then obviously the trap doors will then be going in here like so so we are going to increase our rates just from doing this um it also only mean i have to put the walls up next to these to the top um probably only like three or four blocks which to be fair is probably the entire side but that's fine so what we're going to do is we're going to crack on get some more cobblestone sorted out get the rest of these extended get this bit filled out get the lights turned off in here get the water in and then see what happens when we start um i better put the bottom back in as well already hadn't i hmm yeah let me crack on i need a little more cobblestone and i'll come back to you guys when i got a bit more done Alrighty, a bit more grindy grindy time has passed and this thing it might look a little bit funky from the outside it looks very funky but from the inside and i am done i'm just gonna take this torch out and yes it's completely dark apart from the you know the hole i've left for me to get out which is perfect so what we're gonna do we're gonna dig down and as we dig down we're gonna fill in above our heads and hopefully we're not gonna get murdered the, the torch or oh, the torch below me still okay there's still another torch layer below me so let's quickly go put that out as well oh no it's not one layer below me it's a couple of layers below me apparently but there's definitely a torch in there somewhere yes one more below me oh let's put that back in so i can you know i do have to be a little bit on the careful side though because i don't want to take out um too much above me or below me because i might end up dropping to the my death and it would not be the ideal to do so right let's do that let's run along and knock that torch out of there now because it's only a two drop from here we can just drop in like so and then what i need to grab is my buckets of water and then I'm going to start here. I'm going to leave a two wide gap. And it'll become very clear why. Because I'll put that up there. But if I leave a two wide gap, it won't become a water source. Because that would be bad. And I can tell from how dark this place is already, this is going to work very well. Um, again, apologies for my voice. It's it's not it's not brilliant. I'm not going to lie. But the only area that's kind of light is over here, but it shouldn't be affecting the mob farm because of the fact that I've got the gap. And obviously, one block of light gets reduced for every block you move towards your destination and that yeah one torch left that is near enough dark as dark can get so i'm liking how this is working out for me so far i just need to hope that the top level is not 20 blocks above my head and we're not going to end up with having mobs falling on my head because that wouldn't be fun also, uh, between clips, I went down below and I put in the kill area, shall we say? Right, I'll grab my bucket of water back and then we'll head over. No, not down there. I want to go down here. All right, and then I need to break that ladder. Put that one back in place. I shall leave the ladder on here for now. 
is what we shall do. Also, you know, I've cut more trees down again because I needed more wood. Um, and of which I've used a bit more of it as well, which is fine. We don't mind that. Now, hopefully, this thing should work. Now, if I hop down here, I'm not expecting them to survive the fall. But straight away, my torches are there, which is good. Also, yes, I now have an infinite water source. I forgot to mention this earlier on. But what I did was I dug below this one um, twice, put a couple, put a piece of dirt in below that down there, and bone milled it. So we've got a piece of grass spawning, and it made a water, infinite water source. Uh, made a secondary water source, sorry. Um... Yeah, this should be dark enough. I can't imagine it's not dark enough. It has got an interesting look to it, granted. But it should be dark enough. I hope I haven't ru ruined my moth farm by doing this. I shouldn't have done it. It should still get some spawning. And when I was standing down here previously, I used to get quite a lot of stuff landing above my head. So, in theory, it should still happen. But it may need a little bit of time. I might have needed to make the floor one lower. Because I might be floating along and bang, bang, bang on the platform above the head. That could be an issue. But if it is an issue, we can just rectify it by lowering the floor by one block. Not that we ain't got space for it, but it's going to be an effort. Because it means I then need to put another floor in below this. Lower the walls down by one more block. And then dig that entire floor out after lighting it up up there as well. Oh no, I heard some droppage. Let's go and have a look. I did hear something drop. Yeah, we got some creepers dust. You know, gunpowder. It's perfect. And occasionally we get a free bit of armor. Liking it, liking it, liking it. Oh, this is now working brilliantly. Look at all the stuff. There's gunpowder, there's potatoes, there's rotten flesh, arrows. Eventually we'll get hoppers under here. Now I do have a little bit of iron, but I don't have enough currently to um make myself any hoppers but also of course we can just dump all this good stuff over here which brings me on to the next task of today because i've had enough of eating rotten flesh yeah not not eating anymore we have got some carrots we have got some potatoes i have got all of this coarse dirt oh hi Mrs. Witch, give me all your good stuff. Give me a spider eye. I don't need a spider eye. I've got, like, a lot of spider eyes. But, yes, the plan now is we are going to go and sort ourselves out a new food source. And I need to turn this 60 dirt into... Well, 60 coarse dirt into record dirt. And I need to paint myself a new area. So I might... don't know where to put it. I might just expand off here and give myself a couple of rows either side... Oh, hi, you're a, you're a slime. You go in the lava for me. No? Fine, give me some slime balls instead. That's fine too. Or I can make... Well, my, my plan is to put my portal over here. That's where the portal's going to go. It's going to be away from the mob file and not going to accidentally have mobs going through it for any reason like that. So that's going to be fine. So I might expand our platform this way and do what I've done over there. But make a crop farm this side. I've got 60 dirt to do it with. Um... We can expand that. So I might just do that. Oh, it's iron. Yay! We got some more iron. Anyway, gonna yeah, gonna get cut away. I'm gonna get more cobble because that's all I've got left out of all the cobblestone I have, plus another three pickaxes worth I had to finish it. So it took me quite a bit of cobblestone. But yeah, it's fine. Let me crack on and I'll come back in a little bit. Alrighty, so we've now got our uh, crop field in place. Expansion has started, but not quite finished. Obviously, it's been these filling crop crops, and I've made a mess. Yep. Also, I've got myself some beef now. Because, obviously, I've got this thing over here spawning the occasional mobs, so I've been killing them off, putting their remains in here, and getting myself some proper food. Speaking of proper food, hello, friends. In this situation, any food is good food, right? So for the next part of today's episode, I need this. I need one of these. In fact, I need two of these, ideally. And I need a zombie. More importantly, I need a zombie to drop me a piece of gravel, because 
I didn't notice I don't currently have any more gravel. Which means I can't make a flint and steel. Now, I don't need a flint and steel. I'm surrounded by lava. But a flint and steel would be kind of convenient. Right, we're going to put on the, uh, the protection helmet. Made of gold over the leather cap. Because I think that's going to be a smart idea going into the nether. We're also going to put up our shield. I'm not going to take any more of my iron. I've got 11. I know that's a lot, but I'm not going to take any more of my iron into the nether. I'm not going to take the buckets. I'm not going to take my precious dirt with me either. Or the wood. Fishing rod. The bone might come in handy. The hoe will not. And I have seen other people play this map, so I don't need that either. But what I am going to need, as I said, is a piece of gravel. No, not slimes. Gravels. So it looks like I need to hang around and wait for some gravel to fall. And after just a couple of minutes of waiting around, we only got we got ourselves a piece of gravel. We also got ourselves an extra piece of iron back, which is very nice indeed. Now I could do with a little bit of RNG help to um, you know, there we go. That didn't take very long, that nice change. Where I do a speed run or I try and do something like that, it takes me forever to get a piece of gravel. Turn into flint. But when I'm on this world, and it doesn't matter how long it takes, it turns straight away. That's just typical. Anyway, right, let's grab that little bit of loot there. Eventually, as I said, I will get hoppers under here once I get some more iron together. Which I am planning on building an iron farm. Um, hence the very much saving every piece of string I get. Because an iron farm is going to be very beneficial in the future. Now... I think I'm going to have to move the chicken. I do like having the chicken here. Put it down next to them, shall we? My reason moving the chicken here is I want to get the eggs. I, eggs are going to be good in the future. We can make a chicken farm, an automatic one, with the, the very, very little amount of redstone we currently have, which is actually up in the chest over there. But that's not important right now. Let's go in here. Let's light this bad boy up. And let's see what we're going to get in terms of biomes. Now, my, my luck, it'll be a Basalt Delta. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's not a Basalt Delta. Oh, this is pretty good. There's mushrooms there. The one ingredient I do not currently have for making myself um, fermented spider eyes, which is nice. Also, portal, two minus 15, two, what is it, 45, minus 15. Now, the reason I always write my coordinates in chat is if I get lost, I can get back here. Oh, lots of ender friends. Lots and lots of ender friends. Now, I could do with killing you, because if I can get myself some of that action going on, I can make the warp trees in the overworld, and we can have a different color block to play with. Which will actually be very beneficial. So let's try and... Uh... Right, we end up with five of them. That's very good. We've got three pearls as well, when we eventually go fight the uh, the dragon. Which, by the way, is in fact going to be our end goal in this world. We are going to go fight the dragon as our finishing point. Um, this will be coming in useful later on as well. I'm sure you're thinking, Teddy, you don't need to grab it right this minute. Yeah, I do. Anyway, let's move on a little bit. Let's move, have a little exploration. So we get some nether that's slightly more open. Oh, look, there's Basalt Delta over there. And also a fortress. That could actually be a fortress over there. That could be useful. Yes, it, is. Yes, it could, Enderman. Shush. I'm thinking to get over in that direction. I want to go to there. And then cut across to there. Would be the easiest way. <laughs> Hi. That was near the end of this, Teddy. Look, 
bridge. No, I want a bridge. Across here. And we're going to hunt the fortress down. I know we don't need the fortress right this minute, but... Anything that's going to assist me in getting my villagers... Which, actually, I've got the, the spider eye. I've got the sugar. I also, hi. Rude. Catching me on fire like that. I was about to say, I need the gold for the apple, really. And that won't take very long. So maybe we should collect the gold for the apples. I've got a couple of bottles. From killing the witches in our thing. I've got 30 nuggets already. I need a lot of nuggets, that's the only problem. I should probably grab some gravel while I'm here as well. That could be an advantageous idea too, right? I think because there's glass and there's magmas, we're going to run home. Drop off everything I've got. Restock with important stuff. Which is not what I'm currently carrying. we get better equipped and then we'll come back. And head over to that fortress. I think that is a fortress over there. You saw nothing, Enderman. I didn't look at you. you getting upset. That definitely looks like a fortress, but it looks like a one single stanchion of a fortress. Oh, for God's sake. Come here, then. Just looked at the Enderman again. Apparently, it's half dead already, so that's useful. Well, that's definitely a bit of a fortress. I'm guessing the rest of it is sitting above. So... That brings me to how I get up there. I've currently only got 47 blocks. I can hear ghasts. We have definitely found a fortress. I don't think I'm going that way, thanks. I think I want some protection from that. I can hear a ghast very close by. And something skeleton shaped. And I don't sound amazingly happy. And yes, I am going to do it the uh, safety way, should we say. Hit something. Um, 
no, this way. Well, that's convenient. There's a bit of gold in that chest. That is the chest. Now, I have no choice but be here, because if I want to get to the end, I have to kill the Wither Skeletons, because they drop. The end portal gateway frames, the end portal frames. This is actually quite a good farm, man. Right now. I technically have what I need from in here right now. I was about to say I wouldn't mind getting myself some um coal out of the deal, and I got three coal out of it, so that's quite good. Right, we have safety barriers up. Beautiful. Let's switch this to the iron sword because it's gonna make more damage. That piggy nearly that piggy nearly ate it then. That was so close to that piggy eating it. I'll make a gold farm. I could even get myself a load of gold. And make myself a lot of gold very quick from a gold farm, couldn't I? Right, let's run down here. And then put a barrier right about there. The one on this side. Right, I have the important stuff. I have all this stuff I need for now, actually, so let's go. To put a barrier this way, I did. Right, that's a dead end. That's good. That's good. That's good. Still in the rot flesh, which is fine. I don't mind eating rot flesh. I'll have to kill you as well, because you're currently um, in the way, so to speak. Right, you guys, come here. I see your spawn point. I'm going to have to put something there to stop you spawning. Oh, you broke my gold. Rude. Um, I have got enough gold in my booties, so I'm gonna make some golden booties really quickly. Just to improve the arm level again. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna leave. Can I make like a tree and get out of here? Right. Because. Uh, not the not the safest place in the world to be this, really. I think for now. Let me grab some slabs. And we'll put it here.
That will do nicely. Right next to the crops. Beautiful. Like it. Right. Very good. More free bones. I don't mind if I do. So on to the next task. Now the next task. It's going to be a mighty tricky task. What we have to try and do is figure out how we're going to get a zombie villager without dying. Now, obviously, I don't want to stop everything dying on the way down here. Especially with dropping the gravel. But I need to get a zombie villager. Um, I need to figure out where I'm going to put... The iron farm. I could put it out the other side of the portal. Then I could build a temporary dark area over there. That could be a really good idea. But I don't think I'm going to have time to do that today. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to make this one a bit of a shorter one. And I'm going to end it right there. So if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you really love to hit subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.